Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of Python's Ram. I want to once again thank you guys for the crazy, crazy amount of support you've been showing for this series. We reached well over 2,200 likes in the previous episode, which is super appreciated. And of course, if you are still excited for the series, do be sure to drop a like right in this is best way. Let me know if you want to see more. So, starting off today, we've got ourselves a fiery great sword, my friends. I've actually had a bit of a change of heart and I do want to use this thing because I kind of realised... I haven't got a reforge on it, so if I go ahead and reforge this little baby and hopefully get something good like that, which gives us 51 melee damage, that's going to be quite an increase of, like, you, you know, it's going to be 16 higher damage, isn't it? Because, you know, 51 minus 35 is 16 and stuff. Yeah, wow. That's decent. And, of course, this can, can set enemies on fire as well, which is pretty freaking sweet. So, um, I don't think we're going get to get to the dungeon in time, honestly. I don't know. Wait, where is the dungeon? Wait, for real? Where's the dungeon? Is it on the left-hand side? Oh, this is on the left-hand side, isn't it? Of course it is. Well, yeah, the end goal of today's episode is indeed to go ahead and take down Skeletron, but that won't be done in uh, in this night. It'll be done on the next night, so we are going to go ahead and, in the meantime, we're going to get some potions, so maybe a calming potion, iron, skin, swiftness, mana regen, not really useful. We've got Night Owl. We also have ourselves Titan. I don't know if that actually works against Skeletron, so what I'm actually going to do is go for Heart Reach instead, perhaps. And then we can move to Archery, and then maybe a Shine Potion. And yeah, those eight buffs right there, I feel like they'll be enough. I really do think they'll be enough, which is pretty freaking sweet. So, I want to go ahead and put away this Enchanted Sword because it's not entirely useful to our cause now. Uh, I do have myself a new chest consisting of Armor and Vanity now, which is pretty cool. So I can put Ancient Iron Helmet in there. And uh, yeah, things are... Things are looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. We've got Molten Armor, we've got Molten Things here, Molten Fury, Flamerang, Imp Staff. Let's go ahead and get one of these dudes on us, actually. Uh, Vile Thorn, Space Gun, Fiery Great Sword, Hamax, Molten Pickaxe, which is light, so it has extra speed. So, yeah, we really are looking very, very nice right now. I'm trying to think of what we could do in the meantime. Maybe we can go ahead and farm out some bosses, perhaps? I don't know, man. We could potentially take down the Wall of Flesh as well. Should we try and take down the Wall of Flesh before Skeletron? I don't think I've ever... Uh, actually, no. Okay, uh, I'll tell a lie. I don't know if I've done it before, to be honest. I don't know. Could we actually do it? That is the question. 294 Hellfire Arrows. Wait, I could buy Hellfire Arrows, right? At night time? Hellfire? No? Unholy? Ah, dang it. Wait, can we not make them? I think there's a way to make them, but I can't remember. Honestly, maybe I need to go ahead... Go up to this guy right here. Let's buy myself oh an arrow. Let's head down to the guide and see if we can actually make them. If not, we'll have to go ahead and just farm a bunch of vases, I guess, until we get one. So crafting, boof. Okay, hellfire arrows. Oh, you can make them. Oh, sweet. So if you go to an anvil with a hellstone bar and a bunch of these arrows, ah, do you know what? I'm pretty sure that was not a thing before. I'm pretty darn sure of that. That is. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure that's new. I would be very surprised if that's been in the game for a long time now. Alright, uh, so let's go up to 600 arrows. We're just going to be another 66 of them. And then all we need to do is grab ourselves a couple bits of hellstone. Or, well, six bits of hellstone. Head over to an anvil. And, uh, yeah, get this thing going. Man, I'm really, really happy about that. I'm happy about the fact we can make hellfire arrows now. So, yeah, there they are. Hey, now we've got 894 of these little buggers. Awesome, man. All right, so we are going to head down to the underworld and we are going to make a bunch of bridges, I guess. What the heck? What the? What is this guy, man? I mean, guy trying to kick my butt. It's not going to happen, is it? No, it just isn't. Okay, so we are heading down to hell. We are going to basically put down a bunch of bridges and whatnot using blocks that can't be overcome with corruption or hallow. And uh, from there on in, we should be good to go in terms of, uh, you know, doing a bunch of awesome stuff. So, what should we use? Marble block? Nah. I can make all of this lot. I mean, look at the amount of stone I have. It's simply ridiculous. I could make myself a bunch of bricks, I guess. Disc wall? I don't want that. I don't want no disc wall. What the heck is that for? Alright, boom. Grey bricks. So yeah, let's make ourselves a bunch of these. Let's head down to hell and let's get some bridges created, huh? 
Alright guys, so we are now down in hell and the time hath come, my friends. The time hath come. We are making ourselves a bunch of bridges because these are going to serve the purpose of basically preventing us from falling in lava should the wall of flesh wind up knocking us about, which hopefully he doesn't. So, uh, yeah. Right, okay, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, a little tip I learned from some other YouTubers is to go ahead and put, like, random holes. Yeah, put, like, random holes in the in the floor so the lava from the lava slimes can go ahead and filter itself out. So, yeah, pretty cool tip. Very, very cool. All right, let's get... Oh, ah, Mr. Fireman, can you, like, not please? Can you, like, go away? And I might actually do pretty, pretty well with myself. Sweet! All right, so, yeah. You don't really need to see me going ahead and making a whole bunch of bridges to places I've already explored. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue getting on with this. And I'll be back once it is done. Ooh, a magma stone, guys. Awesome. Oh, that almost killed me. Can you, like, not please, Mr. Demon? If you could, like, die, that'd be fantastic and stuff. These guys actually hit me for a decent amount of damage. So, uh, yeah, I gotta be I gotta be pretty careful of that. Got myself another guide voodoo doll as well, which I guess is pretty nice. Alright, get- oh wow, 92 crit damage? That's kind of nice. I'm liking that. <laughs> Sweet. Alright guys, let's keep ourselves going. Coin portal! Hey! Make it rain, sonny! 10 gold coins, man. I'll definitely go ahead and take that. Thank you very much. I'm actually in the process of farming for some bombs and uh, getting them from vases is actually a pretty effective way of getting them for free as well, so that's kind of nice. The more we get, the more I can go ahead and, uh, and get some more stone and thus a bunch more stone bricks so I can carry on making a bunch of bridges because, well, as you can see, I, I'm not looking so hot in terms of my stone brick supply. I've actually completely ran out of the stack that I had. So, yeah, and I feel like I haven't quite got, got enough of the bridge done yet. So, yeah, I'm feeling like I need to do a bit more. Lorraine and Gilbert are throwing a party without me? What's going on here, man? I'm down in hell trying to grind out a bunch of epic stuff and those guys up there are just freaking partying! I was the one who provided you those dang houses, man. What's up with that? <laughs> that just feels wrong, man, that they just have a party and not invite me to it. That's just, I don't know, man. That just feels like, it feels like a betrayal. It really does. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm actually, I don't know. I, I'm pretty heartbroken. But anyways, we do have ourselves a bunch of bombs now, a bunch of sticky bombs, and basically all we're, do all we're gonna do is blow up the world. And yeah, that is literally just about the scope of what I'm doing right now, blowing up the entire world. Ouchie! Can you like not? I would prefer not dying. Thank you very much indeedy. Alright, so yeah, here we go. Bunch of stone. That's exactly what we need. And it's not like we don't have a whole bunch of hell forges naturally spawning in hell now, is it? Yes. Should be easy to get ourselves a bunch more stuff. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, man. Apparently I didn't have my horseshoe equipped and I just took like nearly 600 damage of full damage. Well, hold on Python, man. You, you outdone yourself this time, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah. I was just trying to get some stone. Just innocently trying to blow up the world, get some stone. And then Terraria's like, nah, mate, I'm going to make you take a whole bunch of all damage. God dang it. Well, okay. Lesson right there, my friends. Use your horseshoe. <laughs> all right, guys. The time has come. We've come to the end of the platform. And, uh, yeah, I've got a pretty significant amount of uh, area to play with in terms of the Wall of Flesh fight. So I'm thinking we go ahead and uh, just get this thing rolling. So here we go. Let's buff up real quick. And, uh, yeah, the time really has come. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start off by taking out these hungry dudes. Hopefully we can and with ease. All right. All we got to do is make sure... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Don't you try it on with me, sunny sun sunshine. All right. Obviously, the heart reach potions are probably going to be our most friendly thing going on right now because, you know, these guys normally drop hearts. They normally do anyway. So, you know, I say normally. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. Alright, so how much how is he doing right now? I should probably get myself a health potion, huh? Hey! Can you like not? There we go, another health potion right there. So yeah, the ba basically the expert mode attack for the Wall of Flesh is the fact that he actually regenerates his eater dude. So we just gotta be careful of that. And if we can like avoid his stuff, 
then uh, we should be good, man. I mean, as you can see, you know, there's a lot more E2 dudes than there was before, isn't there? So, yeah, just got to be very, very careful of that. All right, come on. I don't know where his eye is right now, man. His eater dudes are really reaching out quite far, aren't they? Huh. All right, Molten Fury is doing the job so far and pretty decently, if I do say so myself. It would be awesome if I could take him down first time. If not, then uh, we'll have to rethink our strategy. I don't know, man. We're getting close to... Uh, we've got like about third health left-ish. There we go. There we go. Come on. Keep it going. Just gotta keep going, man. It's all about persistence with the Wall of Flesh, especially in the uh, expo mode. You just gotta keep going. Ah, oh, there we go. A little bit of health back. Always good to see. All right, how's he doing? About half health-ish. Come on. I, I, I got a feeling we could potentially do this. I just realized I haven't got my uh, imp dudes on, and I probably should have. That would have been a great idea, huh? Come on. He is getting moderately fast. Uh, I got a feeling we might run out of platform, actually. This is very much an endurance fight at this point, to be honest. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, he's at about half health-ish. Okay, he's getting a bit close now, actually. I don't really like the fact that he is so close. Come on. Oh, I've got about 15 seconds until regen. Let's try and uh, keep our distance at this point now. Because, yeah, he is doing a decent amount of damage now. Oh, come on. There's a heart over there, but I can't get to it. Which kind of sucks. I don't like it. And health. There we go. Nice one. Bit of the old health. Never hurt anyone. There we go. Come on. Come on. I got a feeling, man. I got a feeling we can actually do this. Wait, we've run out of platform. Oh, crap. Oh, we're done. We're done. There's no way. There's no way. We ran out of platform entirely. Wow. Holy hell. We were not doing enough damage by any stretch of the imagination. Jeez. Okay. That went nowhere near as well as I thought it would, and we lost 23 gold. I am really surprised that that wasn't enough. Wow. That's one and a half stone brick blocks. And he's only down to around half health. We're going to need a lot more than that. God dang it. And also, it's 1am, so we probably missed another chance to take down Skeletron. Which also kind of sucks. So, yeah. That's a bit of a heartbreaker, I've got to say. Bit of a heartbreaker indeed. But, uh, oh well. Nothing too bad, all things considered, for our first Wall of Flesh fight. Got him down to around 5k, 4k health, something like that. I didn't really see his health recently, so... Yeah, and I'm not going to go down there because, well, there's just no chance of me going ahead and getting him. So, yeah. Alright, I think the final thing to do in this episode is to try and take down Skeletron. So, let's go ahead and skip to the next night. And, yeah, we'll get over there, make ourselves a bit of a platform slash arena thing, and we'll get on with this thing. So, yeah, I'll be back momentarily. Aha, here we go, my friends. Got the dungeon. Awesome stuff, my friends. So, I think now is as good a time as any to make a bit of a montage of me going ahead and making a bit of an arena. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, what? You are kidding me, right? Ugh. I'm wanting to take down Skeletron and then the blood boom pops along. Are you for real right now? Alright, well, we're gonna give it a stab anyway, my friends, because... Oh! Tree grew! <laughs> I love that new animation, that's freaking awesome. Alright, so, yeah. Blood Moon is fantastic and stuff, and uh, I really love that Terraria randomly gives me Blood Moons at the times that I really don't need them. Thanks, Terraria. Anyway, let's uh, buff up, and uh, let's get him cursed, and let's kick his ass. Ah, here we go, man. Come on. I want to take down at least one boss today, my friends. Even if we failed the first one, I do not want to miss my second chance. So here we go. We need... It's, well, Skeletron in expert, mo in expert mode is all about rhythm. As you can see, we're not doing a great deal of damage to it. Actually, yes, we are. We're doing a lot of damage to him right now. Oh, well, apart from when he uh, does that. Oh, god damn it. Oh, enemies, bugger off. I don't need you guys here. Come on, get out. Get out, get out. All of you, all of you get out. There we go. And now I might actually be able to do reasonably well at this. All right. Uh, get away from him, get away from him, get away from him. There we go. All right, so he's got 8,800 health. 
But I'm still feeling like we could do this, my friends. I really do. So, yeah. Like I said, it's all about getting into a rhythm. Go back and forth, back and forth. It's the best way of doing Skeletron in expert mode. And there he goes with his uh, expert mode attack. Ah, no, 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 can you, like, not do that, like, ever again, please? And stuff. Oh, man. We're not going to be able to do this, are we? No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! All right, switching, switching. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! Right, this might do the job of, you know, preventing us from dying. No! Oh! I thought that would have done it, man. We're going to need another arena, aren't we? Or we're going to need to upgrade our arena. I honestly thought once again that the amount of space that I smoothed out would have been more than enough to take him down, but evidently not. I need to go ahead and uh, rethink my strategy. I've got the weapons, but I haven't got the strategy yet, which kind of sucks. So, yeah, that's something to work on in the next episode, though, my friends. I never like ending on a fail, but we're going to have to because I'm really running out of recording time. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, despite my fails, do be sure to leave a like button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. So yeah, I want to upgrade my Skeletron Arena for next episode and hopefully actually kill him this time. That'd be pretty cool. And also, need to upgrade the, uh, the pathways down in hell so we can try and take down the Wall of Flesh. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time.